गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम फ्रॉम कैनेडियन इमिग्रेशन इंस्टीट्यूट पटियाला टूडे इज वीडियो रिगार्डिंग सम मेजर चेंजेस अप एंड इन कैनेडा बाय कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट बिफोर एंड दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल बिकॉज वी आर मेकिंग इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज फॉर यू ऑल एंड वी वॉन्ट दैट यू पीपल हैव अप टू डेट विद सम चेंजेस before end this video please subscribe our channel we are getting so many calls that government change their rules for their visitor visa study visa and so on it is true that government change their rules because of covid pandemic everyone knows that every country was suffered with covid crisis in the in this case government change their rules for study visa because they want to um, again their country economy way happily so please uh, understand some changes for canadian government if they changes in a strict way or a lenient way they are doing for their country so let's get start we are share some changes which is if you are have if you have any study permit in canada and uh, your exam should be that ielts journal not less than 6 band if you have 5.5 modules and uh, you have academic modules you are eligible for study visa okay so canada is canada changing some rules for students there are lot of colleges who are acceptable 5.5 bands if you have 5.5 band in any module in one or two module you are eligible for it there are lot of non sgs colleges who are accepted 5.5 bands so this is very good for you all if you have 5.5 in any module apart from that journal and academic ielts both are acceptable in canada if you want to move canada and you are doing journal ielts and you have a uh, reservation that journal is not considered as a student visa then you have to know that journal ielts is also uh, considered as a student visa so this is a happy news for you all if you are doing journal ielts apart from that if you are doing academic it is also acceptable for student visa as we know that but if you have 5.5 you don't need to worry that while you are applying your file after that you should have 65% marks in your last academics if you have 5.5 in any module you should have 65% in your last academic which is mandatory because uh, you can increase your visa chances if you have 65% or more 65 it is really important for you you have to save your sight okay after that you can get bank loan for your study permit it is really good for you if you Uh, want to take study permit apart from that if you have received a score for 55 in pte which which is really uh, acceptable in canada so most of the students are doing pte and they are uh, think that pte it pte is not valid in canada but pte is also considered as ielts PTE is also very easy if you think that uh, IELTS is difficult for you. You can do PTE and uh, fulfill the Canadian immigration requirements, complete your documents, and we will help to get your visa. Apart from that, you have police clearance certificate, which is mandatory list in Canada immigration. You have police clearance certificate. You have fit and fine. in the last i would like to say that if you have any doubt please check canadian official website which is www. 
cic.gc.ca which is official website of canada you can check your own requirements from this site in the end i would like to say that if you have any query then please contact on this number which is right behind me we will be available for you monday to friday so please contact us on we will help to get your visa and increase your visa chances with sop in the last thank you all please contact us and subscribe our channel thank you